is Jadar now. Listen to the Tom and Jerry version. There's lots of stuff at the bottom of the page here. Uh, featured in the Tom and Jerry cartoon Trap Happy, 1946. It's in part one. But it goes at a right old rate. Go, da -da, ba -ba 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 -de 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 so, it's not always the case that tunes like this work well when they're fast. Very often they work really nicely when they're slowed right down. That's been a, a bit of a sort of bone of contention of popular music in the last sort of 30 years where new versions of tunes are being recorded and the tempo is being pushed up and up and up and up. And it's a shame because all the groove sort of disappears. You know, you could go... Of course, the notes have to be, in the exam, they have to be what you see on the page, don't they? And all that flowery nonsense that I just did. But playing this slower, there's a lot of rests in this. There's one particular rest. Yeah, at the end, you've got this. Uh, you've got... Uh it lasts longer than you think. So we've got this. So don't rush through anything that's got a, a, a rest, for example. Yeah, there's a whole beat there. That's quite a lot. At 116, a beat is half a second. So it's a long time, comparatively. Now, you could use the uh, backing track uh, on GarageBand. You can just open up Drummer and then play, uh, if I find 116, uh, circa 116, it says. Now, that's important. Circa 116. Doesn't have to be 116.0. Uh, no examiner, as far as I know, carries a metronome going, oh, so it's one BPM too slow. You failed. Yeah, sorry. It doesn't matter if it's 112. Ooh. It could even be 120, but don't make it sort of hugely slower. Obviously, that changes the technical demand. Or much faster, because actually it takes some of the life away from this. So, if I just find 116, there we go. misunderstanding there in that bar but this is the tempo remember you'll be playing along with drums and the snare drum comes on beats two and four as i've described before anyone who claps on one and three you just go no 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 sorry that's kind of the feel you've got to generate with this Imagine that snare drum just giving you that backbeat. Even in the quiet sections. There's, there are lots and lots of different dynamic levels there. It's really important to maintain those so that it just drives. Uh, we've got, uh, even in the, the piano section, bar 11, at the end of the second line, we've got something like this. You know, it says piano, but it says cheekily. Mm. How can you be cheeky if they're all exactly the same volume and you just go, eh, 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 eh. That's not very cheeky. Mm, eh, mm, eh, mm, eh. 
That's cheeky. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, trying to steal a sweet off the worktop. <laughs> That's kind of the vibe that we need to we need to communicate. Loads and loads of different volume levels, and then of course it gets louder in the second one. Oh, sorry. And then we carry on with that sort of bold. Dynamics are really, they are everything in a tune like this. You know, from forte to piano, I mean, you could even, you know, make that cheeky section, you could bring it down as low as you possibly can, because it does also allow room for the backbeat. And that's kind of piano-ish. Of course, you, there's no definitive volume level. It doesn't mean 40 decibels or 45 decibels. It means light. Now, lots of the backbeats that I'm playing at the moment, they are quite exaggerated. You don't want to go sort of... It's... It's just a bit of a swagger going on. I think that's the word, really. It's a swagger. <clears throat> so, this tune, it's really important to listen to the original, even though it's really, really ramped up in tempo, because it also gives you an idea of what you might be able to do with it. You could play this straight as well. And so you could go... Nothing wrong with playing a version like that. You could play it as a reggae. Exploring all these genres with a tune like this just gets you used to what each one should sound like and ultimately what this particular one should sound like. So there we go. There it is. 